All right, uh, just for giggles, I'm going to show what happened here. So this is a DaVinci Mini uh, 3D printer, and I bought this from a probably slightly less than reputable eBay seller. Um, you can probably, you know, it, it happens. It was listed as new open box, um, and if we look over here, it's got most of the accessories. Um, I believe it is missing... Oh, what thing was listed in the accessories? It is missing one accessory. I believe it's the... No, I can't remember. It's missing something. Anyway, it's got all this stuff. It was listed as new open box. Look how much filament there is. That's not new. It's supposed to be, like, up here, you know? That amount of filament. So... It's definitely been used. Um, not only that, but the extruder, um, I cleared it, but it was full of, like, it was full of plastic. It, this thing had clearly been used for quite a bit, because half a spool is a couple hours of printing, if not more than that. This cover was off when I got it. The That thing was down, like, it's clearly been used. Um, anyway, I wanted to show exactly what happens when you turn it on, because it does not work currently. I'm going to flip the switch, and you guys can have a listen and a look. Yeah, it makes that horrible noise. And then it stops and it just beeps. And we've got a red light. Right there. So I believe what is happening... I'm not an expert. Um, I literally just... This is the first one I've ever gotten. But I believe... So if I move the print head all the way to the right here. The, the Z-axis moves up and down, as you can see, just a little bit. Um, if I move the print head over there, when I turn it on, it then moves the print head all the way to that side, and then it jams. So my guess is that it's not hitting its limit stop on the, uh, I believe that's the X-axis. It's either X or Y, one of the two. I believe it's like, not realizing it has hit its limit stop on that side and the motor is just jamming and like trying to shove that the print head further than it can physically go. That's probably my best guess. Um, I'm gonna, you know, try to get my money back from this eBay seller, but uh, I, if I don't, if they don't want it back, I'm gonna see what I can do to try to fix it. Um, I normally like take electronics apart a lot, so we'll see. Um, I might be able to do something. I don't think there's anything wrong with the Z-axis. The screw appears to turn right at the beginning. It's just that it can't find that hard limit stop for, if I believe that's the X-axis. So we'll figure it out. Um, or I'll get my money back. Who knows? We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on. Um, just figured I'd record a video for, for the sake of like posterity and so there's some kind of evidence as to what's going on. Um, and it's making that horrible grinding noise. So, yeah. Um, any ideas, uh, please let me know. Um, and any advice on taking these things apart, because I wasn't able to find a whole lot of resources on this particular error. I didn't, I, my cursory searches have found basically nothing about a grinding noise or a halt or anything like that. Um, so if anybody's got any ideas, uh, please let me know. And any advice on taking them apart would be super appreciated. So thanks for watching.